Namaste. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am So Foolish Girl. Let's get into this timeless reading and see what you need to know right now. Okay. Yes. Congratulations from the universe, from God, from your spirit guides, from your <laughs> crossover loved ones, your pets, your animals, everyone who's rooting for you in the supernatural realm. They're like, yes, you totally dodged a bullet, okay? Really strong Aries, Scorpio, Taurus. Why did I say Taurus? That's weird. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Taurus. You dodged a bullet. And if you have fully stopped investing in something, if you pull back your energy, if you have said, okay, I've sold enough seeds into the situation, I've invested enough, and now I'm walking away. Someone's not happy about it, but it's okay. makes sense why I said Taurus Virgo Capricorn we do have the Pentacles Earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy it just seems like you're like um okay I used to like that but now I've changed my mind I'm feeling inspired to move forward something else someone else this could be someone else all right, <laughs> some of you stuck on someone else and it's just simply like if you woke up one day and you were just like, I'm over this person. Yes, 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 you are. Because this person could have put you in a third party situation, be it choosing their friends, their work, their family, Anyway, whatever, hopefully not an actual other person before you. And that's not okay because you put so much into this. And it's just been acknowledged that if you made the decision to break someone else's heart and not get your heart broken anymore, I love this Ace of Swords in reverse. It's just telling me that there's so much healing that you are experiencing and yeah you might be hurting someone else in the process because you're not giving them what they want they're pissed off somebody's mad someone is upset and you know man i hate to say it but it is what it is you're being guided to do this and it is for your highest good i often tell people this when jesus was <laughs> pouring water into wine he wasn't charging five dollars a cup all right you just had to be in the vicinity of it that's your energy that's your vibe people either get you your romantic interests they either get you or you don't you definitely are being respected right now in the spirit realm you're being respected in your life in general virgo energy coming through because you you decided to like you know you saw that this wasn't working you saw that something wasn't working and you put yourself first this hermit mold this timeout energy that you have been giving to a person to a situation in your life is for the highest good you literally dodged a bullet you don't deserve to be dealing with people who cannot fully 100 percent commit to you you deserve a commitment you deserve to be put first okay definitely <laughs> you definitely put someone on pause pisces here you made a sacrifice out of them wow this could definitely be a situation where you know the communication got really faulty for some of you this could even be a long distance connection relationship if it is not it's definitely been a long time coming where you decided to put yourself first and i'm getting really strong familiar energy so i feel like this could be a family member you know 
that you really for a while you were just putting yourself yes childhood friend is coming through in this reading you really did put them first you really did sacrifice some of your dreams some of your goals and it's like the minute the second you stop doing that it's like this boom boom bustic <laughs> i don't know what that is like it's like a, i see you now yes because you felt like these people were you know kind of selfish and for some of you they really could have been hiding hiding their wealth from you hiding and acting like they don't they're not able to support you or they're not able to show up for you emotionally for some of you this is definitely emotionally and it's like you don't even need them to because god is showing up for you okay your higher self is showing up for you the universe is showing up for you doors are being open signs and synchronicities are coming through and you just kind of know you just kind of know you know how to avoid certain situations okay being overlooked yes coming through really strong but it's like those days are over with now the people who have been sort of like not paying you the most attention not giving you what you want, leaving you left on red, right? Those people are now wanting to be in your energy. And I think it has a lot to do with, especially if this is romantic. And we'll tap more into that and see. Um, what's happening now? I'm hearing that you have been really, you understand the laws of the universe. You understand how things work. You, you you're just you're just always in the right place at the right time your communication is impeccable some of you are really going to be running into the love of your lives with this energy like this energetic check-in is is insane it's like okay you're going from like not not even recognizing it you're not going to you're not going to believe this. You're not going to be expecting this. It's like everything that you want is literally just going to fall out of the sky. I'm hearing that, yeah, you were meant to live every day like a party. Like there's been enough red lights. There's been enough, enough yellow lights. There's been enough come here, go, go away energy. Um, Hurry up and wait energy then that you deserve is what I'm hearing. So what's in store is really truly amazing. The clarity that you seek is coming through and it's going to be like a whirlwind because you're no longer going to be fearful. Like if you were sp fearful for a long period of time, I'm getting the energy of years some of you ha could have been indoctrinated into some sort of faith, which you now lo no longer believe in, or you're just overcoming so many beliefs. You this could be a relationship, hopefully not, but I'm just saying it's so deep that it's like you've endured this for so long. And now you're going from that energy is being stuck in this energy, stuck in this heartbreak, stuck and just not knowing what to do not even knowing who you are to all of a sudden bam it's like the world is your oyster every day is a celebration every day is a party i'm hearing i feel like some of you are going to be like just having a good time easy going it's like there's no such thing as hurry up and wait anymore yeah there 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 was definitely there was definitely a period of just just feeling like you the only thing you can you can create is absolute crap absolute shit i'm sorry like that's what i'm getting and then it's like all of a sudden you get blessed and you get hit with this like unwavering truth of like wow like i really am the one there's the gift right there really strong Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy. That's Jupiterian energy. Okay, Leo energy could be significant as well. Um, yeah, it's like, okay, 
you went from the back seat to the driver's seat and there's nothing anyone can do about it and the thing of it is I'm hearing like you don't need to seek external validation as much as you think so you're overcoming these sort of addictions these sort of like unhealthy habits and it's because you just took one second it's like one second you go from like being a chain smoker to the next day you don't smoke anymore you're going from like you know, being a serial dater to like, oh, I'm I'm looking, I'm monogamous now. Like, I've actually, like, found my person. It's not going to be hard. It's just that you're coming into the fullness of who you are. A lot of you, this has to do with just simply your robotic affirmations and knowing that you're in the right place at the right time. I just keep hearing you dodged a bullet. Yeah. That one risk that you didn't take, that one friend, that one invitation, that was the best decision of your life. I'm here to tell you right now, like, to stop doubting your intuitive hints and trust that it might not be time for you to take that risk, okay? And for some of you, I'm hearing that if you took that risk and it didn't pay off, it's because you honestly, authentically just were not being true to yourself and you have to heal, okay? Allow yourself more time to heal through this process. Because in the end, it is going to be worth it. In the end, it is. You're going to lose some friends. Shit, you, are, you, are, you lost a lot of friends, but... Listen, the spirit realm, your spirit guides, your angels, they're here to give you the love and the support that you seek externally because they know that it starts within, okay? Oh my goodness. Someone here is definitely worried about time and did they miss out on an opportunity? Did they miss out on something you didn't? Did you do the right thing by cutting off this person or this energy that, that that they don't support your dreams? Okay. You did the right thing. If you continue to keep people, places, and things in your life that aren't in, in alignment with your true desires, you're just going to continue to keep experiencing short of this energy where you're just you're stuck you're you're like investing investing and you're not seeing a return on your investment you made the right decision please release your fears you do not have to be afraid anymore okay once you take that leap of faith everything's gonna be fine and in a sense i feel like you know this i feel like you i feel like you subconsciously intuitively know this but for whatever reason it's just like mm, i've been told that you know i can't do two things at one time but you can't you can actually do two things more than two things at one time you can do three four five six seven eight nine ten things at one time the universe is ready to give you what you truly deserve you just need to show up for yourself and make time for it okay it doesn't matter what this is. For some of you, I'm hearing that your children are definitely looking up to you and they just feel like, I want to be like you. I want to be able to accomplish what you have accomplished. So with that being said, let's get some advice and see what is the summation of this reading. <laughs> I'm hearing, hey, it's all good. You're going from left out in the cold to massive wealth. From rags to riches. From literally feeling like the ultimate lack 
and paucity in your life to being able to have more than enough to give. You know right from wrong. You have been making the right decisions from the day that you were born. And now it is your time to receive ultimate bliss and ultimate success from the universe. It's literally your turn. You have done everything right. Don't forget your ultimate robotic affirmation. My favorite affirmation, I do everything right. Even when I don't know what I'm doing, write that down in the comments. Make it real, okay? Share your affirmation. What is your robotic affirmation? What are you making happen in your life? You are going from not having enough, but then having more than enough to give. And you deserve this. You deserve this. You deserve this more than anyone. You deserve this more than your thoughts are telling you that this isn't real. This is actually real, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, really strong earth energy coming through could be any sign. All right? That's the wave. That's the vibe. Until your next reading. Namaste.